watch me transform this beauty from start to finish hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is sentiment makeover if you're new here you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much and god bless you so please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe so first thing first i used my cutting pad and my micellar water to clean the face then next i used my green tea spray to hydrate her skin after which i used my cetaphil moisturizer to moisturize her face so after applying the moisturizer all over the face so after applying the moisturizer all over the face i let it dry properly into the skin before i went ahead to prime so for primer i'm going to be using my tm essential primer and apply it all over the face avoiding the areas underneath the eyes So next, I'm going to be using my Gentle Dove Mattifying Primer and apply it on the oily areas on her face. So after applying it, I let it dry before I went ahead to spray the face in order to lock in the skin prep I did. So moving on to foundation i'm going to be using this v foundation i'm going to be leaving the shade in my description box so i'm just gonna use my damp beauty sponge to blend the foundation into the skin So after blending in the foundation, I'm going to be locking it up with the same spray. This will help the foundation not to move or go anywhere. After that, I let it dry properly before I went ahead to contour. For contour, I'm going to be using my Nibam Beauty Concealer in the shade 049 to contour her face. So moving on to blush, I'm going to be using this pink shade for my Blossom Lip Palette and apply it above her contour and a little bit on the tip of her nose. Then after that, I went ahead using my Beauty Sponge to blend. Next is to highlight her face. I'm going to be using my Avo concealer in the shade A20 to highlight her face. Then I went ahead using my beauty sponge to blend the concealer on the highlighted area. So next, I'm going to be contouring her nose with the same concealer I used to contour her face. And after that, I blended it to avoid harsh lines. So after blending it, I went ahead to apply this Milani concealer on the areas underneath her eyes because I really want her under eyes to be highlighted. So after highlighting, next is to set the concealer but before setting, I went back using my beauty sponge to blend the areas underneath her eyes to avoid creasing. So to set the concealer, I'm going to be using this light shade from my Bicham powder palette to set the concealer. So I'm just going to take it using my beauty sponge to easily set the concealer.
so next is to set the rest of her face i'm going to be using this shade from the same powder palette to set the rest of her face For dry contouring, I'm going to be using this dark shade from the same powder palette to set the areas I applied the cream contour. So to contour her nose, I'm going to be missing these two shades because I really do not want the nose to be very dark. So after that, I used my powder brush to blend everything together. So after blending, I'm going to be spraying the face. This would give a smooth like finish and helps to reduce the brightness on the face. And after spraying, the next thing I did was to allow it to dry because you need to allow it to dry before moving ahead. So after drying, I went ahead to bake with this um, Mirac setting powder in the shade Cinnamon. So after baking, I used the same brush I used to contour her face. I went back using that brush to blend again. Moving on to the brows, I'm going to be using my spoolie brush to brush her brows. Then I went ahead using brow tam to lay the hair nicely. So to outline her brows, I'm going to be using my carrot gel liner and my angled brush to draw her brows following the shape of her brows. So after drawing the brows, next thing is to highlight the brows. I'm going to be using the same concealer I used to highlight her face to highlight her brow. So after highlighting the brows, I used my blending brush to blend so that it doesn't get dry and tacky. So after that, I did the other brows following the same method. So after highlighting the brows, I'm going to be setting the concealer with this powder shade. So I went back with this contour brush to blend again. If you want to achieve a smooth like finish makeup. You have to always learn to blend then after that i used my powder brush to blend again i blend everything together so moving on to the eyes i'm going to be using my vianch eyeshadow base for her lid i'm just gonna apply it on her lid So moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying this shade from my Blossom Lip Palette. I'm just going to apply it from the outer corner of her lid, then blending it towards the inner corner of her lid.
so after that i used my eyeshadow blending brush to blend to avoid harsh lines so next i'm going to be using this yellow shade from the same palette to blend out this eyeshadow So after that, I went back applying this same shade because I really want it to pop. So after that, I'm going to be applying this darker shade from the same palette and apply it on the outer corner of her lid. Then I use my blending brush to blend everything together to avoid any demarcation. So after that, I added a little setting powder on the outer corner of her lid to define the lid. Then I went ahead using that brush I used to apply the primer. I used the brush to blend the inner corner of her lid before applying eyeshadow. The reason why you should blend before applying eyeshadow so the eyeshadow doesn't look rough. So you need to like blend before you apply any eyeshadow. So after that, I'm using this Tucky for color eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to take this light pink shade and apply it on the inner corner of her lid. So when applying this type of eyeshadow, all you need to do is to take and press it in. Don't blend, just press it in so that everything will pop out. So after applying this eyeshadow, I went back with this blending brush to blend to avoid any demarcation. So moving on to the next process, I'm going to be lining her upper and lower lash line with my carrot gel liner and my angled brush. Moving on to the next process, I'm going to be applying this peach shade of blush from my Tara blush palette and apply it on her cheeks. Then I added a little bit of this purple light, light purple on her cheeks. So next, I'm going to be dusting off this SS powder on her reverse contour. So moving on to the lip, I'm going to be using this Nuban Beauty lip stain to line her lip. So after that, I added this peach shade from this my blossom lip palette in the middle just to brighten up the lip. Then after that, I blended it together.
so i went ahead adding this nibam beauty nude lip stain in the middle just to brighten up the lip and after that i blended it together So I'm going to be lining back her lip with this brown shade lipstick. After that, I added some gloss because she wanted the glossy lip. So after that, the next thing I did was to dust off the excess powder underneath her eyes. So next I used my powder brush to blend everything together then i used my spray to spray the face again so it's always important to cover the eyeshadow area so that the setting spray doesn't get to the eyeshadow if not it will help the eyeshadow like if you're wearing a mattifying eyeshadow like a powdery kind of eyeshadow if you put spray on it it's going to wet it and it won't look bright anymore so always make sure you cover your eyeshadow area then after the face dried i used my mascara on her lower lashes so for highlight i'm going to be using this mevas glow dust to highlight her face i'm just gonna apply it, apply it on the areas i want the highlights to pop So the next thing I did was to use my mismetic cheek glaze and apply it on the areas I highlighted. It, this would help the face to glow. So after that, I sprayed the face for the last time and allowed it to dry. Sorry, I didn't show that part before I went ahead using my soap silicone spray to seal the makeup. And this is the final look, guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to always turn on your post notification button so that whenever I post, you'll be the first to see my video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.